Well, after weeks of threatening, Russia has now deployed its most powerful economic weapon, shutting off its energy exports. Well, as of Wednesday morning, Poland and Bulgaria are no longer receiving Russian gas through these pipelines, the Turk stream for Bulgaria, and up here, the Yamal pipeline for Poland. Well, the EU says any impact on consumers will be minimized. Poland has reassured its public that it has been preparing for this and has alternative suppliers. But this is now a warning to the rest of Europe, which relies on Russia for 40% of its natural gas. Russia clearly doubling down on its insistence that European countries pay for gas deliveries in rubles, something the EU says could be in violation of sanctions. And many European countries have said they just won't do it. Well, experts say the European response will be critical. I think the European answer should be coherent, should be unanimous, and should be we don't want to stick to these rules, we stick to what is written in the contracts, and therefore we will keep paying in euros or dollars as written in the contracts. That's the signal that Europe has to give, because otherwise what Russia is trying to do is a divide and rule strategy. He's trying to create fragmentation among European countries, and is trying to leverage this fragmentation in a geopolitical manner. The Kremlin today rejecting EU accusations that this is blackmail, but there's no denying their leverage, especially because Europe is not yet united on what to do about its reliance on Russian energy. And here's why. This graphic shows just how reliant some European countries are on Russian gas as a percentage of their overall energy consumption. Russian gas is shown there in red. And you can see for Poland over here and for Bulgaria, it's relatively small, 11 or 12 percent. That is why they can stand firm and refuse to pay in rubles. For Hungary, though, up here, it's a quarter. They are currently the only European country to have openly agreed to pay for their gas in rubles. And there's a lot of focus on Germany, Europe's largest economy, where Russian gas accounts for about 14% of its energy consumption. The central bank there recently warned if Russian gas supplies stopped, it would tip that country into a recession. And that, of course, could spell more trouble for the rest of the continent. Class Sebastian, CNN, London.